Hi my friend! Today we're going to make 불닭볶음면 삼양 파이어 누드 Okay, let's go! Let's find out what's inside to make our own sauce. Let's see the ingredients. Hmm, okay. I must tell you, it was not easy. Through thousands and thousands of experiments, here is what I concluded. Soy sauce, cooking oil, chicken powder, I tasted with three kinds, nor, maggi, and ajinomoto, and each one has a different taste. You can choose whatever you like. Curry powder, you can use Korean curry powder if it's available to you. Cayenne powder, smoked paprika powder, vinegar, black pepper, sugar, onion powder, garlic powder, Yeast powder is optional, even though it's one of the ingredients. I couldn't tell much difference with or without it. And the last, you need this, capsaicin. In original recipe, you need habanero powder, but it's not so common ingredient. And also, if you use too much powder, the sauce will become too thick. So this capsaicin liquid can make your sauce from moderate spicy to half spicy. You can find it in Korean grocer. If you can't use capsaicin, you can use fresh chili. Find the most spicy chili available to you, chop it, and mix it with my sauce. Let's make one serving for test. Soy sauce, 2 teaspoon, 10 gram. Vinegar, 1 teaspoon, 5 grams. Sugar, 1 teaspoon, 4 gram. I mix well to dissolve sugar first. Cooking oil, 1 teaspoon, 4 gram. Chicken powder, 1 teaspoon, 3 grams. Curry powder, 2 milliliters. And from now on, everything was less than a gram. So I stopped way. Black pepper, 1 milliliter. Cayenne powder, 2 milliliter. And cayenne powder is a little spicier than Korean chili powder. Smoked paprika powder, 1 milliliter. Garlic powder, 1 milliliter. Onion powder 1 ml, yeast powder 1 ml, and I've told you, you can skip it, and capsaicin. Without it, the noodle will be mild spicy, less spicy than regular bulldog noodle. So for same spicy as bulldog noodle, I'll add 2 ml of capsaicin liquid. And one more thing, you can make flakes with seaweed flavor and sesame. Once you like it, you can make 10 servings and keep it in the fridge. One serving is a 2 tablespoon, around 30 grams. Please see the description of this video for 10 serving recipe. Let's boil the noodles. You can follow the instruction on the package or you can follow my way. Using 1 cup and 2 tablespoon of water, cook the noodles and I don't cook too long. 3 to 4 minutes until almost all water is gone. Lower the heat and add mixing sauce until all water is gone. Then add flakes. I cook like this with all kinds of Korean dried ramen like japagetti, japaguri, and so on. No need to throw water. Wow! Our homemade buldak pokumyeon is ready. Let's taste it. Oh gosh, I need milk. Okay, I must admit I'm not a big fan of too spicy food. Anyhow, it's really good and spicy. So we made homemade bulldog bokumyeon sauce today. I hope you love it. I love it. And here's my guide to spicy level. 1. Korean chili powder. If you use Korean chili powder, your noodle will be mild spicy, almost same spicy as shin ramen. 2. Cayenne chili powder. If you use cayenne powder, your noodle will be a little bit spicier than the one with the Korean chili powder. 3. Add extra fresh chili. You can add extra fresh chili to your sauce in case you can find more spicy chili powder like Thai chili, habanero, Carolina Reaper. 4. Extra 2 ml of capsaicin. Your noodle will be almost same spicy as a regular bulldog bokumyeon. 5. More capsaicin. More capsaicin will make your noodle more spicy. But be careful and remember, you need to add capsaicin to your sauce first, not afterwards. 
If you consume capsaicin directly, it's too spicy. Your tongue will be hurt. So which chili you need to use? Here's my advice. There's a two kinds of Korean chili pepper, regular and Cheongyang. They are positioned here in Scoville scale. Regular Korean chili is around 2,000 Scoville and upwards. Cheongyang chili is around 4,000 Scoville and upwards. I hope you can find the right chili for you. And this is going to be a series, Bulldog series. Today, episode number one, we're making sauce. Number two episode, I'm going to show you the different ways to enjoy your noodles with chicken, cheese, and lots of more. And number three episode, I'm going to show you how to enjoy your sauce with rice. And I need to speak something about my recipe I posted earlier. I cooked the beef powder ramen right? But you can use chicken powder instead. And that will be a great chicken ramen, okay? And that's it for today. I hope you all enjoy my recipe. I'll see you next time. Bye. Oh, don't forget to subscribe to get notified, okay? Yeah, bye.